So I have been looking for a small indoor camera that has a really clear picture, but is nice and tiny, not gonna take up too much space in my house, and I think this is the camera. It has lots of little features. It comes with an app, so you can download the app just by scanning that QR code. It does work with Android or Apple phones, and it is perfect for anywhere in your house, as you can see. So this is an indoor camera. You wanna keep it inside, um, but you can put it anywhere you'd like inside. It does have two-way audio, it has motion detection, so if there is any motion in front of the camera, it's going to alert you through the app. It also has cloud storage, but you can also use an SD card for storage if you'd like. Um, it also has total 360 degree view, which you can adjust through the app, so you can scan everything through the app, and you can set an activity zone, so you can just get alerts for the areas that you want to so see. I'm gonna open up the camera, and then I'm gonna test it out. I'll show you everything that's inside the box, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing, it does have um, a user manual right here with some clear pictures, a quick guide, so you can get it up and running right away. It tells you a little bit about how to use the app, which I'm gonna show you as well. So here is the camera itself, um, and it, comes with some mounting hardware inside here and um, a block to plug it in. You do need to have this camera plugged in, um, so you wanna make sure that it's somewhere near an outlet, but it comes with a block for you, so you got everything you need to get it set up right away. So here is the camera itself. Um, it does just connect at the bottom, but so simple. All you have to do is plug it in, and you can see it rotates up and down like this, and it also rotates from the bottom, so you can spin it this way, or up and down, and you'll be able to control everything through the app. So when you spin it all the way up, you can see at the bottom there's that reset button, and you can also see there's a SD card slot right there um, at the bottom where you can put in the SD card if you need to store that way. So cloud storage or SD storage, whatever you'd like. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in, download that app using that QR code, and get everything set up. So once you have the app downloaded, you just need to connect to the power plug camera Please and have power your camera on the device. In. And once it's plugged in, it's going to start flashing a red light. Please so this reset all the happened device pretty much by holding the reset once button. Once I add the camera plugged in, select the two Then it's going to pick up your Wi-Fi your and show you a to QR code. So you just have to point the camera at the QR code, and it will right away connect. So again, this is super simple. Please it took wait a maybe a few seconds to connect the camera. It immediately found the camera, connected to my network, and then all I needed to do was enter my network password, and the camera was connected. And here, instantly, it shows a live view. So you can connect to, select the room that you want to name the camera just to give it a name. And anybody in your house can download this app and access the camera live instantly. So it can be used with multiple users. You can set up multiple cameras in different rooms of the house. Um, it is has all these features, as you can see. It kind of walks you through the app the first time that you download it. So you'll get a really clear picture of exactly how to use the app. So you can see here, you can kind of scroll. I'm doing this all through the app on the camera, panning left and right. You can see um, it's a really clear picture. Such a user-friendly app. You can look at the history of what happened on the app. You can check out the cloud storage. You can see um, all the settings. You can see right there, it sent me an alert for motion. So it's going to alert you through the app anytime anything walks through your room. So you're sure to be on um, keeping track of your home security at all times. So then I just kind of played around with the app for a little bit to test out the settings, kind of adjust um, the different pictures and picture settings and kind of get exactly what I wanted, which was like the high definition. Um, you can see up top, here's the, one of the videos that I saved. It has the date in top, on the top and the timestamp, so you know exactly what time everything happened. Um, you can see that it did send me a motion detection again because there was people in the picture. And then I was playing around with the app and kind of just scanning back and forth. You could see I was checking out the entire room all through the app again. Very user-friendly, super simple to set up, such a great clear picture. I would definitely recommend this camera for your indoor home security. And I hope you found this helpful. Thanks.